Hey, everybody. I am so excited to be sharing with you a very special guest. As you know, this is actually like the first guest on my YouTube channel ever. Um, I'm going to introduce you to Sean Clark from my level. Hey, Sean. Hey, everybody. Good to be here. Oh Thanks for having me. <laughs> so exciting. Before we kick off, actually, Sean, can you do your signature introduction just for, for the people? Yeah. Just how you typically kick off all of your Loom videos. Oh, yeah. So I am technically speaking the CEO of Go High Level or High Level, however people say it. And uh, we are a all-in-one software, CRM, marketing, you name it, platform. We got it. Um, <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, that's that's who I am and that's what we do. Yeah, and my favorite part of how you kick off your videos is usually, hey, this is Sean coming at you from high level. Totally. It's become like a, a joke amongst all of the insiders Absolutely. within high level. And it's always exciting to get that video from you. And you, I think you're the only person that I have to slow down the speed, the videos to keep up with. <laughs> usually I have to like 2x. For you, I like have to slow down and it's always good. It's always like great news. It's well, I just like, oh, you know what? Instead of making you 2X, I might as well just 2X it for you. See, I'm just trying to save you time. I love that. I love that. And Sean and I both have a snowstorm happening right now. So we are just going to pray to the internet right now that it That's clouds right. in our favor and let us know in the Stay comments. Stay going, internet. Stay going. So let's go, let's go. We've been planning this for a long time. And we're super excited for you. So I think many of you might be familiar with High Level. Many of you may not. We're going to be talking a lot about how I've used it in my business um, in the last 12 months today. And I'm the kind of person that I like to figure things out before I teach it. I want to be able to speak to it from experience. I want to be able to say this has been my success with something before I promote it. And High Level is actually one of the only tools that I actively promote because I love it so much and I believe in it so much. And Sean, I'm just so grateful that you're here. Um, oh, I'm happy to so, be here. I, 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 I love that. Awesome. And I think for many of you, you might be hearing about SaaS, right? Like you can create a business around software. And many people who have been really successful with high level, that's what they're doing. But for other people, they may be saying, well, I've got a professional, like a really strong professional background, and I want to pair it with other types of services like agency and like consulting. And I think for me, you know, what I've done, I just want to share a little bit about my journey. And I ran up to Sean at the high level conference and I was like, do you want to talk to my audience? And I think you were like, yeah, like I, I, I came up to like your elbow height wise. And I was like, this would be so great. I'm like looking up at you and you're it's like, funny. I'm not, I'm, I feel like everyone's going to think that I'm super tall. I'm really not. <laughs> <laughs> I think I just revealed what happens when I stand I was up. standing on my tippy toes or something. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, and I know this is probably the first time that you have seen high level being used with as a consultancy or with fractional CMOs. Have have you seen like what are some of the ways in which you've seen high level be used that you think is just a great use case for it? Sure. So I think that if I was a listener here, uh, taking a step back, yeah. I think the way to think about high level is it has a ton of features. And so the mm -hmm. most important thing is try not to learn them all. That's a big mistake, but it has, yeah. it has enough features that whomever or uh, that you're consulting for or with can probably get a lot of value out of it. Right. And so what I sort of see it as is a really great way for you to bring in all of your expertise and pair it with inevitably these days, right? We all could, we all know technology and in the form of hardware, but also a lot of software is just a key component of every business. And I think in the past, the model has been like the consultant brings the knowledge and maybe recommends a product, but doesn't have the product sort of in the bag with them. And I think that the days of that are radically changing. And if we think about that mm -hmm. from a client's perspective, that should be like the land of Shangri-La because they don't yeah. want to be software experts. They don't want to have to go out and find software in the market. They don't want any of that stuff. They want a solution to a problem, which is actually why they hired you to begin with. But now you can truly deliver this end-to-end -end solution. So it's not just like, hey, here, let me show you or explain to you how to solve it. It's, hey, let me also give you the tools you need to solve it and, and help you actually activate those tools and create that end solution. And so that just at a high level, that's where I find most people are super successful. Now, how you go about it in terms of like, for example, you can white label high level um, or you don't have to, like it's your choice or in which features you deliver, all of that is open to you and you, it gives you a lot of options. But I think the other big and most important part about it is there's a revenue stream for you. So like instead of just mm -hmm. like bringing someone else's product to the mix, 
yeah, that's cool and all, but but that's like so in the past. With high level, it's literally saying, okay, today I might be selling my consulting services to you, and maybe those never end, or maybe they do end. But if they do mm -hmm. end, either way, or if they don't, you still also have a software product that you've now sold into this business, where you are able to then drive a direct revenue stream from the software. So you don't have to just get some affiliate fee. You're literally selling the software to that person and you're getting the hundred percent of that revenue every single month forever. So regardless of whether or not your, you know, your consulting comes or goes, you've always got that software sort of turning over and giving you revenue. It's so good. I was telling um, somebody who is a, another parent, another baseball parent at baseball practice last night. I was like, oh my gosh, the snowstorm, I've got the event I had planning for months. I hope it goes well. I'm going to kick all my kids off the internet while we're on it so that we actually have internet. And um, he's in IT and he was like, started telling him about high level and his mind was blown that you could actually take a software as a professional, any type of expertise that you have, whether it's <coughs> IT, whether it is sales, whether it's marketing, whether it's retention strategy, any type of skill set that you have, you can take high level, customize it with your skill set, resell it at any price you want. You don't provide any type of limitations on what you sell it at. No. You can put it at any price you and, like. And we don't take a cut out of that, by the way. That's the other big mm -hmm. thing, right? So you know, a lot of people think that our business model is derived around taking a, a cut out of what you sell. And the answer is we don't. Our pricing is flat. So whether you sell to a 10 people or 100 people or 1,000 people, the amount you pay us actually remains the same, which I think is really, really important because you know I think it, the folks that I've seen do this, I mean, they go out and they work really hard to do it. And what I love to see is that they, you know, they're making 10, 10 100, 1,000 X what they pay us. And, and I'm yes. thrilled with that. And I, I'm, I'm encouraged by it because what it tells me is we're winning, they're winning, and so are their clients. So it's a win-win. Yes. From my perspective, this what you had shared was my exact struggle as a consultant. I love my consultancy. I love my consulting clients. I want to leave consulting. But what I wanted was a way in which I could serve them that was more scalable and recurring past the point in which I offboard. Because by design as a consultant, my job is to work myself out of a job. My job yeah. is to give them solutions and processes and systems and strategies so that they can be there off long term without me. Um, which I was proud of and excited about. And at the same time, I was looking for a way to scale it past me. And I struggled with this for a while. I found my level. I started including it in my consulting services. And I sell high level. I know a lot of people sell high level, more low ticket and volume. I sell it high ticket, low volume to large brands, institutions, universities, and organizations that everybody listening has heard of. They're all now on my high level and they love it. And so grateful. And they are, I, I've had organizations say to me, Laura, I don't know what we would do without this. And that's, it has been just a game changer for them. And then for me, I'm making a significant amount of money and in passive income after they offboard with very little maintenance because we were part of the strategy from the beginning. So we oh. only deliver the strategy that's applicable to, we only deliver the implementation and the software that's applicable to the strategy. Yep. I, I love that. And, that's, that's fantastic. Yeah. And, I, and I think it's, it's doing yourself a service and it's doing your clients a service. See, that's, what's, that's, that's so great about it. Right. It's like, there's nothing disingenuous here. It's like you're literally delivering. And if anything, I mean, I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll throw my bias out there. You know, every, I've, every time someone says, would you like to hire a consultant? I say, absolutely not. Because my general, um, you know, my general background with consultants is, I would say, well, they could have the best answer in the on the entire universe on how to solve the problem, but at the end of the day, if they don't help me solve it, I, they just yes. leave me with a hold in the bag. But what I love about what you've done, and I think this radically changes that uh, that uh, you know that through line, is you're actually giving me in the actual solution, like hard, you know, tangible version of that. That's incredible. That's just such a game changer for for consulting. Yeah. Thanks so much for saying that. And part of my um, points of differentiation, what I've always trained my consulting students is to show up through the implementation, be available through the implementation, develop systems, tools, training, templates, and try to make it as easy as possible for them to implement and then guide them and, and consult them through implementation. But now... I can come with turnkey um, implementation solutions totally. and with high level and it's easier, faster. A lot of the organizations I work with are national nonprofits 
and they don't have a ton of resources. They don't have exactly. lots of people and they don't even know what a CRM is or they That's have true. an existing CRM that they've been sold and they have no idea how to use it. Like some My of wife the, was a, a fractional CFO for a nonprofit. So I have some perspective on, on these folks are, you know, they're incredibly passionate. They're very mission driven. Uh, they probably know a lot about what the nonprofit does, but to your yes. point, they don't know how to raise money. They don't know how to run CRM systems and software, and they don't have a, a, and they're trying to put every dollar back out into the world to try to help their mission. They're not putting a ton of overhead into their business. So they need things that are cost effective. Yeah. We come in under the long-term strategic planning budget and completely set them up to multiply enrollment. And when their enrollment goes up, their ability to fundraise goes up and we get to help as many people as possible. So I'm That's just super great. grateful that high level and that you've created high level and that we get to be part of it. Um, and I'm so grateful. So what I wanted to um, share with our listeners today, you know, Sean, before we started recording, Sean's like, just keep in mind, like, I'm not a coach. I'm like a software guy, um, which is actually what I love about high level. It's completely a product first company. When you go to the live events, they are product based events. They are and, and, and it's product obsessed. And that is what I love about it. And it's like I need to you'll be part more, of it. You'll get more coaching. You'll get mo more coaching from the people you sit, sit next to probably than you'll get from us. <laughs> totally. And you'll meet great, smart people. But yeah, totally. from which, by the way, for the record, w w is near and dear to my heart. I mean, I love the number of stories I have heard of people who have met people like literally yeah. at the tables for lunch or, or next to each other and all that. Um, just, you know, and, and gain something, learn something, we're able to grow their business. To me, that's like such a fantastic story versus telling them like show up and listen to us on stage, try to like tell you the answers to all the problems that like that's such a silly way to behave. And I love that we have a community that supports each other. It's so good. And then I love that you are obsessed with the product because when I went to the live really? event and you were presenting, you were like, here's the hundred things on our roadmap. And I was like <laughs> writing down really fast, but like, I want to, and I want to partner with a company that has a product roadmap that knows what's coming, that get feedback and prioritizing it. Because then I can go to my clients and say, this is what's coming and when, and it just gives me so much more of a, a toolkit to be able to get them excited about the product. So I want to share 100%. with everybody who's listening today, um, the main ways in which we customize high level for our clients. And also if you all are listening live and you have questions, I have a team member that's monitoring the questions right now. And that way we can answer them for you live when you're here. We really appreciate you being here. So feel free to pop it in the chat as we're going through. Um, and, you know, I think there's three ways in which I use high level with my consulting clients. I know you probably heard of software with a consulting service. Um, I have, or software with a service. I have come up with my own acronym, which is software with a consulting service, SWAX. I like it. Um, and, you know, we're going with it. It's easier to write than say, but, you know, it puts some context <laughs> into, <laughs> into, into the software. Um, and so the first thing is pipelines and pipelines are fundamental sales steps that people would go through in order to uh, be able to accomplish a very specific sales goal. And Sean, you'll probably appreciate this. For one of my nonprofits, I, we created what I would call probably the first and only judge funnel. We literally had a funnel oh. for magistrates and judges going through the process because it was a child cool. advocacy nonprofit where oh. the judges make the decision as to what happens with the child. So we were marketing to the judges and I was Good like, joking you. that is time. awesome. Yeah. Yeah. And I was like, it's, a, it's probably like, this is, this is an OG judge funnel. But so we've done so much with, with pipelines. I know we've got a little bit of a delay here. So anyone who's listening, we just really appreciate it. It's very weather related. Um, but Sean, if you wouldn't mind sharing pipelines and just like you, what, how, when you engineered it, what your thinking was behind it and, um, ways oh, yeah. in which people can use pipelines. Yeah. So it, it's so funny because yeah, so pipelines, in my opinion, are probably one of the most underutilized features in the sense that I think people don't quite understand how powerful they are, but they're used primarily in two ways. Um, and let me see if I can actually share my screen here, if you don't mind. Um, because maybe people uh, will see this later on here. But 
Um, one of the, um, let's see, in the hit share, and then I'll jump over here. Okay, can you oh, see cool. my screen? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, perfect. So pipelines are, are first and foremost, a, a phenomenal sales tool. So you can see right here, this is actually for, we use this ourselves and you can have as many as you want, but this is for a virtual workshop we ran. And, and so you can see here, we have these different stages, right? Open email, but did not register. They registered, they attended, but didn't upgrade. They opted in for a trial and we won the trial. And so what you can do here is you can just instantaneously start to see well, wait a second, where, where am I, you know, with all these leads and who do I want to attack? Because maybe that this person who attended but didn't upgrade, well, I'm going to go ahead and I want to click on this person and I want to actually um, go in and actually call them or talk to them or whatever and really get a chance to sort of understand, well, wait, why didn't you upgrade, right? So all of a sudden, as a salesperson, I can really understand what's going on. And then if you go over to uh, something like our dashboards, you can start to see, okay, wait a second. I want to go look yeah. at the, the my you know my virtual workshop funnel here, and again, I can start to see okay, well, all right, uh, here's how much you know I dumped in at the top, and here's you know here's where they're at in the funnel. Here are the cumulative totals and the next step conversion, so I can start to optimize around where I'm losing people, and this is all powered by those pipelines. So all of that around a sales methodology makes a lot of sense, and then you can also then use them for a service or delivery methodology because once they've purchased, you know, all these same stages. Can also now become other stages because they're customizable so you could say like you know whatever like you know did i send an estimate have we started a consulting engagement have they attended the you know whatever so it becomes a service pipeline as much as a sales pipeline so you could dual use it across your organization for both sales and essentially product man or project management so it's a very cool tool that way Oh my gosh, it's so good. So just to share how we use it, I would say I spend about 80% of the time with a client when we're creating pipelines on strategy. What happens at each step? What, if this, then what, right? And you've got all these automations that can take place behind these pipelines. Yes, absolutely, so that's true. If it's a kind of a white glove situation, like, you know, district judges, we want to manually move people through and then, you know, there's some a little bit of automation that happens in the background. And then if it's more, um, I work with a national wellness company with 100 locations. Yeah. For them, that's going to be, you know, much more automated and systemized. So you can oh. have it be automated, have it be manual. The main thing is, is that we know what happens, that, that we've got a strategy for what we want to happen at each stage. And then mm -hmm. implementing this is actually quite easy. Having somebody do the build, I have a tech team, but having somebody do the build based on the strategy and delivering it to them done is not hard. <laughs> like you've made it so easy and the client's blown away. Like Total. from their perspective, I mean, that is a six figure and I'm, I'm on a transparently selling project for 15 to six figures, 15K to six figures in that range. And it's well worth it. It's well worth that price to have a, a turnkey strategy based on what you've created. Absolutely. In fact, I think that's one of the biggest advantages, right? Because, you know, there's lots of tools, right? And I always try to give people analogies because I'm kind of a kind of that guy. And I'm always like, you know, you, you could go to the hardware store right now and buy all the same tools as the you know home remodeler. But that doesn't mean that you know how to remodel your home. And if you're me, you're just going to hit yourself in the thumb with a hammer and you're, you're done, right? I can't even build a doghouse. So, you know, I think the idea of the tools is great, but you got to have the strategy and you got to have the expertise and you got to have the plans. And if you can put those two together and deliver them as a package, I mean, it's so amazing because like you said, your clients are blown away because it, you've, you, you've really gotten to the heart of the matter, which is I need a problem solved. I don't need, I don't need a hammer and a saw. I need a home remodeled. And if you can do that, um, for them that just love you to death. Yeah. What I find is most companies, a lot of people might be surprised when they're listening to this, but many companies, it, it all is living in the founder's head. The entire sales process is living in the founder's head or it's living in a program manager's head or program director's head in the nonprofit space. And totally. when you actually assist, just having a system increases the results. I mean, it can, it can 10 X results, just, just having it, broken down and put into the right place and um it's amazing like they helped me be able to navigate that that's, but i'm that's great I'm, oh my gosh they were incredible they were like this is our security certificate here's all of the answers to things that like i didn't even know but um i tell them because most of what they're getting is strategy anyways like i'm not afraid right. of them they're, they would never go out and create their own high level account because they wouldn't know what to do. What I'm giving oh, yeah. them is the strategy, 
But then I tell them there's how many users are on um, high level? Do you know offhand? Oh yeah, there's a couple million. Couple million, like this is big companies are using this, banks are using this, institutions are using it. It has all of these compliances. There's millions of people on it. I like being able to tell them that. Um, and I, it gives them a sense of security that this is a well-funded and well-developed product. Um, oh, yeah. And then people might not. So, you know, it's completely, it's completely up to you. I'm a very transparent person, so it just feels more comfortable for me just to say what it is as well. That's awesome. Yeah, and I love that we give... Um... I, I love that we give, uh, you know, a lot of optionality that way. And that's yeah. really the way we think about it, right? It's, it's, we don't want to dictate to anybody, you must do it like this, because again, back to yeah. the expertise factor, we know that, you know, your customers best and you're going to present it in the, the way that works for them the best. Yeah. So good. So the next thing that I would want to share with our audience is funnels. And again, I'm, I'm sharing with you what I use and how I use it most frequently. Um, and the next step is funnels. And Sean, we use this a lot in the nonprofit space for recruitment and enrollment. A lot of totally. times they're not even texting the populations that they're trying to recruit in programs. These are populations that are rarely on email. They're emailing them. But if you're, if you're just trying to get through the day or if you're working in a job that doesn't require computer work, you're, you're at your phone. You're texting. So... Um, so we, I love creating these texting automations and funnels and enrollment pages. And if you wouldn't mind just sharing funnels, because again, yes, oh, many absolutely. people in the online marketing space are familiar with funnels, but 80% of the world still doesn't know what they are or how to create one. Oh, uh, you know, oh, when we get out of our echo chamber, this is very much the case. So, yeah. So funnels, funnels are great. I mean, our home, yeah. our homepage is a funnel. So I, I, but you know, we have this the whole, the fully built in funnel test uh, builder, excuse me, and you can do split testing with it and obviously a multiple mm -hmm. pages and that, and that, and then the builder itself is all drag and drop. And I, I think the team has done such an amazing job here, mm -hmm. making it super simple as far as all the different things you can add. And as you can see, like, this is actually for our event here uh, coming up and we use all of our own stuff to build all of our funnels. Like I said, even our homepage is a funnel. Um, but it's got all kinds of cool things like you can see down here in the footer it's like you can put the current year and it'll automatically update so you're never your page is never out of date um, so there's a lot of those cool things but basically it's really focal around opt-ins and to your point of mobile is it uh, being mobile you know mobile is a huge thing for us so you can you can see you can both you can both do an entire version to, that's mobile if you want to and then one of the things i'm very proud of actually is that the team has actually gone in and you know a lot of times you'll just say well this headline here is too too you know big or something for mobile and you can now come over here and you can actually you can start to move around the settings specific to mobile so that you don't have to rebuild the entire page you can just tweak certain elements to make it fit or be perfect on mobile so good would you also mind sharing like what happens behind the scenes in terms of those funnels i think you were on that page yeah initially absolutely 100 percent. so yeah mm -hmm. so what happens is um with with the funnels i mean there's all kinds of like you can look at it we give all kinds of stats and things and if you're selling a product you can also um, look at the product sales and the average cart value um and a lot of that kind of stuff and then of course as people do things for example like set up and obviously custom domains and this and that but as people mm -hmm. submit um out of um on, on this funnel what you can see is uh the, like let's go look at this form real quick so this form is uh let's see what forms is the sasprinter intake form so if we go over here to forms we have that form will also be present in this form builder uh and then and th this is fun doing this um in real time because i have no idea what any of this is but um obviously there's the form builder itself so here's that form that you just saw which is cool but also um what you can see is you can you can see all of the submissions that come through these forms uh let me just see if i can find our sas intake form or intake. Oh, there it is. So then obviously you can see all the people who have, uh, have submitted this. And then of course, all of those people automatically become CRM contacts as well. So you can literally, mm -hmm. and you can see over here on the right hand side, we tie this all together. So when you look at this person later on, I'm like, where did this person come from? You can see right here, they came from this page. You can see they visited it. You can see they submitted the form. You can see when their contact was created. So you get this entire journey. So you know exactly where your clients are coming from. Yeah. So good. And then it can feed right into pipelines, which I love. Oh, a hundred percent. So yeah, this person here um, can also become um, what we call an opportunity on a pipeline. 
I, I don't, let me see, did they do that here? No, they didn't do that for this particular one because I think this is a direct purchase, but um, but all that to say, you absolutely can do that. We do that for a lot of things, but the good news, again, optionality, you get to choose. And then down here in the bottom right-hand corner, the thing to point out is, um, had this person come from an ad or a search engine or Facebook or something else, it would have noted that. You can see here, they came directly to it, but that we also are able to start to see not only who's in your opportunity funnel um, and in your pipeline, but also where they came from, because really you want to optimize around that. So if your Facebook ads are driving the most registrations or your Google ads, you can start to really track all that stuff. And if you really want to get crazy, you can even track back the ROI on that. So you can see every sale that gets converted. You can, you can note down what the sale price was. And then we automatically will then reflect that back to the ad and say, okay, this Facebook ad drove this much revenue. So you can really start to see your ROI. Awesome. So good. And I see some great questions coming in. So I'd love All you right. to show one more thing and then we'll start mm -hmm. answering some questions with people who are okay. live. So one, the one more, um, and again, I'm, I'm asking you to share based on what I have personally used, what has been sure. most helpful to me. And the biggest differences that I've seen for my own clients, everybody's clients might be different, but for us, texting has been huge. Um, this Massive. is something that's you know, they're not using a lot of our clients. And again, it's not just nonprofits, guys. It's really, we live in the internet marketing space. We think everybody knows this and they just don't. Like big brands don't know this. Traditional companies don't know this, but you know, nine, tech has a 90% open rate and most organizations are still selling, sending emails and constant contact. So totally. what we're, you know, what we're looking at and I'm like, oh my gosh, I didn't even know people are still using that. So let's talk totally. about texting and yeah. how so this texting is a really, works. Yeah, this is a fantastic thing. So obviously two-way texting is as simple as it sounds. It's literally the ability to do uh, texting with your clients. In fact, and I was just going to pull up that example here. So this, and, and we do this, uh, we do this all the time. So, and we use this for our own business, as I said, and you can see this right here in action. So this person literally is texting in how many websites can I host? And, and our, and this will actually get answered by our team internally. And you can see here, they had a problem with a purchase. Um, and then our team text back to them and you can do this both manually and automatically. And it, it just changes the world, right? Because this is how we all communicate to family and friends. This is how we want to communicate in general. It's asynchronous, which really just means that you can text me right now and I can text you later. We, you, I don't have to stop what I'm doing to respond to you. Um, or if I want to, I can. And so it gives you a lot of optionality again. And to your point, the open rates and the response rates are just insane. Um, so it's really, really, really good. I mean, and if you, if you have a highly engaged client who really wants to um, communicate with you, the texting is the absolute way to go. And like you said, you know, emails are old school. They're, 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 they're not, there's no two way really there at all. And in fact, most of silly emails come from no reply at, which is ridiculous. Um, but that is the point. Texting can be automated. Um, and if you haven't, um, I guess the other thing we should show while we're uh, talking about that is the automations. So yeah. um, obviously you can use our workflow builder. Um, and this is a great example probably of one of those. So basically this is exactly what we're doing here. So clicking into this, uh, we're, we're saying, Hey, this is actually for a webinar. We're saying, Hey, listen, when on 119 at 8 AM, uh, at, uh, I think it's uh, Pacific, um, which is 10 AM central, we want to wait until that happens. And then an hour before that time, um, what we want to do in this case is we're, we're going to send an email, but instead of sending an email, um, we could easily just come in here and say, okay, I actually want to send an SMS, um, as well. And then now we can write out that SMS and we can blast that out. To everybody who's going to come to the to the town hall um this is our mini town hall so we're going to be a little nicer to people um but we use sms like crazy to do this uh today and you should do the same thing and you can obviously obviously you can do this here in the automation the other cool trick is if you just want to say i'm going to send a quick blast to everybody you can come in here select all select a, a group you can also filter down by all kinds of attributes but then when you're ready to go you can just say you know what i just want to hit send sms and i can go ahead and write an sms and you can blast it out either in real time to everybody. You can drip it out. You can set a scheduled time. So there's lots of optionality again here. But the point is you can use SM SMS as a fantastic tool to drive out a message to people. And again, if you're being smart about it and driving out a message they want, you're going to get amazing results. Yeah, it's just incredible. I mean, just putting a client on SMS and teaching them how to use it. Again, the, those okay. are the types of things that just like close up their business. They just think you're a genius and it has such value that you can put whatever price point you want on it. 
Totally. So we've got some good questions here, and I know some of them are more strategy and business related. Some might be more for you, Sean. So we can take some questions and then yeah, I'm absolutely. Share with them. Let's do it. Yeah, and then I'm going to share at the end too. You know, I am a proud affiliate of High Level. I've got some great bonuses for people who want to sign up under me. Um, so I will be sharing a little bit more about what that looks like as well. So awesome. Um, one person question is more for me, but I'm curious on your take on it, Sean. Um, you mentioned having a tech team. What kind of scale is that? What kind of support would need would be needed? I keep a tech team on retainer because I have so many. Experience High end, uh, high end projects that I'm managing every month and I want to stay in my lane as a strategist. So I have a, a quite affordable tech team that I've sourced on my own. That's a high level expert. I keep them on retainer and, and then I have an OBM that just sends them the projects. And I'm like, this is what I, this is, this is the end result. I want make it happen and record some looms for the client. That's how I do it. If you're a techie and you love setup and you love behind the scenes, then lean into that. It's just not my zone of genius. And for what I'm charging for the projects, it's just all, let me just have a number. It's probably 5% of what I'm charging to pay for the setup. So it's really maybe five to eight percent. So it's really not a big deal for me to have somebody else do it. And, and then the back end tech support's very light because ooh, I'm basically like, don't touch it. That like, don't touch it, no touchy. Um, and they don't. They're it, nonprofits and traditional companies, they've got better things to do than mess around with funnels. They've got people to save, cut, you know, and so they're, um, you don't really hear from them that much. And then the tech team mm -hmm. monitors our tech support email. Now there's white labeled, you know, high level has training if you're transparent that it's high level. Um, so I don't know, Sean, if you want to speak to that a little bit. Sure. Yeah. So, I mean, a couple things here. I mean, they, they I'm sure everyone's going to ask you who you use. Um, so you feel free to do that. Um, but the other thing I was going to say is um, if you, we, so the way we look at this is obviously we support our, our customers um, to the hilt, but if you want additional uh, uh, help there, if you go to directory.gohighlevel.com, we now have a certified partners program. And I'm pretty proud of this because not only do these folks have to obviously go through the certification, they actually have to pass a proctored exam. So it's not just a, hey, do this on your own, go look up all the answers kind of thing. Um, and we've actually, I'm proud to say we failed people out of this proctored exam. So it's a very legit uh, thing. And so if you do need help, um, I would recommend checking that resource out. And again, to your point, I think you can find some very affordable options. Um, my, my caveat to people is always, um, ask for references and call them. I've, I'm always shocked how many people will just sort of take a recommendation on its face value. So don't ever do that. Um, that's just a general piece of advice. Uh, but yeah. overall, I think there's lots and lots of lots of great options in terms of solving that, um, like you said, at a regularly, uh, uh, sorry, a reasonably low price. Yeah, absolutely. I'm happy to share, um, you know, within my community, I, I have the person. So you, know, you can meet that person, see if you like them. They're helping to answer questions within my affiliate community. And then there's also other companies that offer white labeled and private labeled support. I haven't personally used them, but you'll see other people recommending them. And that's a great option as well. So I think it just depends on what's the most economical based on your given, you know, position within your company. Um, and as you grow, like I like somebody in Slack, in Asana, I didn't want to use a third party service so for somebody else, a less expensive third party service or white label <clears throat> video series may be better. So it just kind of totally. depends on how you want to build business. Um, I think this is a great question for both of us from Michelle. Can we speak to the custom branding of high level within yes. your own branding? <laughs> maybe we should, maybe even better, let's show it off. So, yeah. um, <laughs> So I'm going to show off just a random customer right now. So, so this is uh, golawhustle.com. They are a white label who serves attorneys, as, a, as you might have guessed. Um, and as a really good example here, when they sell high level and their clients who are lawyers go to log in, they're going to actually go to this page. And what you'll see all over the place, this not, none of this says high level anywhere. Um, you can see the URL is app.golawhustle.com, all the way down to the terms and conditions are their own. Um, and if you go to the app store on your iPhone or your Android and you search Law Hustle, you will see that they also have their own white level mobile app. So from a branding perspective, you can very quickly see that there is this is high level and yet there is no high level. So as a very good, easy way to see this in action, this is exactly what we hope for and intend. Um, and to your to your question, like this is what it looks like. You can completely uh, uh, get high level out of the picture if you want. Um, and this is this is the kind of world we'd love to live in. 
Yeah, it's so interesting. Like you've even white labeled like where emails come from, you know, within oh, yeah. that's, that's internal. Like there's no way to know that it's high level if you don't want your kids to know. That's, yeah, that's 100% the goal. Mm -hmm. um, and then um, is quick start guide for high level. And people are asking about that. What kind of support? Oh, yeah. Well, OK, so I mean, absolutely. absolutely. <clears throat> and in fact, actually, I think um, we're even going to try to put it on the main website. But um, one of the most important parts about us is how we like to get started with folks. So we have Zoom based support at both the onboarding level and then ongoing. So it's not just something you get up front. You also get it ongoing because the other problem we have is like we have all the quick start guides and videos in the world, but I got to tell you something, I don't know about you, but I like just like talking to people, getting help, maybe um, asking a question that's not in the quick start guide or maybe is, but it's buried on page 47. Like, so we'd like to get on zoom and talk to you and, and be real people. So we, as soon as you sign up, you'll get invited to a kickoff call. You literally jump into a zoom call. It's 24, seven, 365. So literally anytime you have time, we have time and we're, we're ready to like actually kind of quick start you <laughs> together. Um, just so that as you're going through it, as you have questions, um, you know, we're able to help. So good. Um, and then I've got a couple more questions before we wrap up. So this one I'm curious about your take on it, Sean, because I get asked this a lot, mm -hmm. is people have some of your other competitors in place. They might have a Salesforce. Sure. They might have a HubSpot. I would say that a lot of my clients <laughs> that I come into have those types of software, which I'm honestly not as familiar with. So I don't know if you have any way of explaining yes. how high level is different than those <laughs> softwares. Oh, well, uh, no, but, but, but I'll tell you what you shouldn't do is try. So don't fight that fight. <laughs> um, so meet people where they stand. Cause the problem is if you try to dig somebody out, it, 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 uh, quite honestly, let's just be, let's just be real here. Like, even if you're a CRM expert, they sure the heck are not, but they, but they're yeah. going to feel this need to defend themselves, right? Because they made a purchase decision. So just stay away. Like, don't put your, like, don't put your hand on the hot stove. Just be like, oh, that's great. We work well with everybody. And really what we are is the way I explain it is like, we're on the front end of this and you don't even have to call yourself CRM. Just say like, oh, we're a lead management system. Like make up some funny term that just doesn't make any sense to them. And you're like, so you keep your Salesforce, you keep your HubSpot, you do whatever. And we're just going to be on the front end and then we'll feed over into your system at the right point. Right. And here's the funny trick of it all. Um, at the end of the day, they'll be like, oh, okay, cool. I don't have to make a change. So you've gotten away from the fight you link the two together and we have Zapier and we have this and that. So it's easy to do, but over time, something sneaky will happen. They will get yes. into the system. They'll be like, Hmm, that's funny. This sure seems to have all the things that these, this system I'm spending 10 more, 10 times more has. I wonder if we could just use this every day. And then when that big moment comes where they get the annual renewal contract, they're like, wait a second. And they'll sell themselves. Yep. So fundamentally you ignore the fight. You don't try to have a debate with someone who is going to just naturally dig in and quite frankly, un unqualified to have the debate they're going to have. And you keep your client and over time, they'll just naturally they'll upsell themselves into it. Oh my gosh. I love that you just said that because that's exactly how I handle it. But I'm curious. I was curious on what you'd say. And a lot of times my clients have these like random proprietary, you know, CRMs that are industry specific to oh, like right. their weird niche. And I'll be yeah. like, well, this will cover the 50% that we of what you don't have in place with a lead automation software. Um, totally. And that's how I say it. And then, and then they start asking me and they're being like, well, can it schedule appointments? And I'm like, oh my gosh, yeah, absolutely. It's so good yeah, at that. But, but you don't you have know? to, of course, you know, don't we worry. Don't yeah, see? Yeah. Yeah. We, I always know, we, call it, we, we say, uh, yeah. we say, we say, sell them what they want, give them what they need. So yes. fundamentally, you know, and this is, I mean, this is the thing about your business, right? You know, your clients don't know a lot of things and that's why you're there, but you also know, it, like, let's, let's think strategy I and mean, forget software. You know, there are, there are times when you know that the method by which they're doing something in their business is crazy. Like you, you'd be like, you guys, you, know, you really just want to come out and say, you guys are nuts. But if you do that, you're going to turn them off. And so you just say, oh, great. I'm happy to hear you're doing X, Y, Z, terrible, horrible thing let's try to maybe take a little chunk out of this and you're trying to kind of slowly move them, right? You're going to do the same thing here. It's that just that low friction move. Yes. Yep. That's exactly what we do. And they're always so happy, especially with the nonprofits. They have like they either ha or the other thing I'll be say over time is they'll be like, well, this seems to work better. I say, well, how is that working for you? Like how is your current one working for you? And let exactly. them answer it. Yeah. Yeah. And you can be the, and just the plus, we always think about it as the plus one. It's like, if you can be that, like you said, if you have that one thing they don't have, you're like, oh, we're just that thing you don't have. And then boom, you just move yeah. from there and it all magically falls into place. 
Uh, so one last question for me, and then I want to talk about your affiliate program, Sean, because right yeah. now currently um, I have an awesome offer for anyone who isn't currently on high level and wants to be, but I also love how generous and amazing you are with your affiliate program. So you answer one last question and then head over there. So my question is, or the question is, do I have a white labeled version of high level that I use? Yes. Uh, it's called Catalyst. Um, that's what I named it, which is a that's pretty a common, you know, language within the nonprofit space, which is about 80% of our clients. And then uh, are they building out custom versions? Yes. Um, and that's the answer to both of them. So, uh, so it's yes and yes. And then we hand it to them after the build and they pay us recurring for sub account usage because there's there's some times where I might transfer it to the client um, and a big, big project and let them just become affiliates. I've done that before. For the profits, they just don't have, you know, the staff in-house to be able to, um, like, deal with all that. So, and they're happy to pay it um, and and have it handled. So, let's, Sean, I, I would love for you to talk about what happens when people become an affiliate of high level, kind of your philosophy behind that because it's really unique it's as unique as i would say is your philosophy around letting people charge whatever they want as a white labeled software yeah absolutely and so um so our affiliate program is actually very simple it's 40 percent recurring for life um so it's very easy to understand so basically that just means that if you refer somebody whatever they pay us um you know whatever plan they choose we pay 40 percent back to you every month um for life and we do that for a very simple reason. You know, we, we, we feel like if we show up every day and we're on mission to build the best product ever, if, you know, you know, a couple of people who, you know, could use it um, and you recommend it, we, we owe you something for that. And, and we appreciate the fact that you're willing to, to, to take your personal reputation and put it on the line. Um, and we believe that, you know, there's this big world out there where we can all win. And we feel like we're partners with our customers. We're not, we're not selling them something and walking away and we're not, we're not selling them something and, and, and become disinterested in their success. So we've tried to align ourselves with you such that if you win, we win. And if you lose, we lose. And so I think it's important because it really makes us think, OK, how is the product that we're building today going to help our customers further their success? Not just like, ooh, is this a whiz bang nifty feature, which is kind of how I think a lot of people um, operate. And as a result, that's why, you know, you know this about us, but we have a public facing ideas list um, where we actually solicit customer feedback and we not just solicit it, but we use it. It is our like it is our roadmap. So it's funny to think people want to know what our roadmap is. Our roadmap is what our customers tell us tell us it should be. And then we even go deeper and we have both a all company town hall where we really sit down and we invite all customers to attend. We try to sh tell them and update them a whole company wide what we're doing. And then we've also recently launched mini town halls where if you don't, if there's a particular product area that you know and love, the product manager who runs that product actually runs a town hall once a month where you get to show up and tell them all the things you like, all the things you hate and all the things you'd love to see. And they take note and, and really um, we use all that to drive the product development. We really don't try to inject our opinion, um, if at all, um, into that product roadmap. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. I mean, it really does show how product first, the culture is at a high level. And I'm a pretty simple user. Um, and I put my clients in pretty simple systems, which is, I think, why I have low tech support needs. When and and honestly, for, for the record, for, for anyone who heard that comment, you know, that is actually my favorite type of person. Because I think that what the biggest mistake most people make is they overthink it. They say like, oh, mm -hmm. I can see that high level does 500 things. I should first learn all 500, which would take me about a year and a half. And then I should figure out how to sell all 500 at the same time to all of my clients, which is an impossibility. It's ridiculous. It's, it's silliness. And the people who have the most success are the ones who, who sell like the least number of features because, you know, it's like price is what you pay, value is what you get. Like there's a world where you can provide one feature. Like, and if I like you're a nonprofit, but like if I, if someone presses me like, well, what one feature would you start with? I'd be like, oh, miss call text back. And my explanation there is how many businesses miss calls every day? All of them. How many times have you called a business and had them not pick up the phone? Many times. So what if you could automatically text those people back when the calls are missed and say something like, hey, we're on the line with another client. Would you like to schedule an appointment or an estimate or this or that? And you turn one of those, those missed calls into an actual customer that month. For the vast majority of businesses, especially local, that would crush it right there, one feature. So don't worry about being sophisticated or complex or lowing it all. Figure out what is the simplest version of this that will allow you to create value for your clients. And that's where you should start. And I love that you did that.
Yeah, I mean, the three features you shared today is what I mostly deliver on my thirty to fifty thousand dollar projects, consulting projects. Because by the time you do the strategy, those are the features that I really need. That's it. Um, yep. You know, we're not. It's, it's again very, and they're getting. They're like five xing their enrollments. They're ten xing their businesses just with those simple tools. So yeah, you're the you're the best it. money they've ever spent in their entire life, yeah. right there. Yeah. Yeah, me and high level, we'll, we'll share the credit. Um, and yeah, so um, if anybody here is really interested, you're listening, you're loving this, you can um, use the link below this video to sign up underneath my affiliate account. Then inside of the, uh, inside of my affiliate program is both a community where you get access to me, a month coaching call. This is currently the only place where I'm offering live coaching to anybody um, other than my consulting clients because my consulting client <laughs> client base got real busy this year with the implementation of my model. So you can get access to a monthly coaching call with me, a community with me, and two courses. One on how to sell these high ticket consulting products with high level. And then also what's coming soon is how to become an affiliate because that's a great revenue stream for you as well. Once you get into the software and you fall in love with it, you can go around recommending it or it can be a great downsell to somebody who maybe can't afford your full suite of consulting services. So um, you can, and actually um, Michelle asked about the price points for high level. If you wouldn't oh, mind sharing that as yeah, well, that sure. would be great. So we are pricing, the most important thing to realize is our pricing is flat. So the big thing we, we really didn't like about other platforms is they have all these crazy fees like per users and per contacts and this and that. So the way we did this is we tried to make it really simple. So so it's $97 a month and you get all the features and unlimited users and limited contacts. Um, uh, and you get what we call, we call them sub accounts. So think of a sub account as like a, you know, businesses. So like there'd be one for you and two for your clients. So three sub accounts on 97. 297 and we bump the sub account amount up to unlimited um and then finally if you get real crazy we've got a 497 account which is unlimited sub accounts plus we add in the ability to automate all the rebilling so as you're going out and you're rebilling clients for this uh for your software we do all the stuff where we run the rebilling and then the, like you know things think about like if they don't pay their bill it'll lock them out and then just send them you know you can send them an email and all, all of that sort of stuff um, and, but the way I sort of think about this is, it, oh, and you can white, but here's the fun part. You can white label at every level. So, um, start with, start with 97, if, if please, um, and, you know, get yourself up and operational, um, get to that place where you feel that you're in the black, go out and sell two sub accounts, do the billing manually. We actually have invoicing built in the app that does automated invoicing. Mm -hmm. So you can actually do recurring invoices. So you can technically automate the billing out of the gate, get yourself to a really good place where you feel like you're making way more money. Um, uh, and then go to the 297 and, and then figure out the 497 later. But what I always tell people is, listen, if we are, if you are paying me more than you are making, you are making a mistake. <laughs> There's something wrong. We are a revenue generator for your business. We are not a cost center. So that is, that is how I would look at it. And again, you know, it's flat pricing. So our goal here is there's no like, aha, I got you now, sucker. You got, you added five users. We're going to bump your plan up. We, we don't do any of that nonsense. It's so good. It's good. We do 500 just because. I, I just want all the things um, and it's not, you know, it's, and, and it's not cost prohibitive because honestly consolidating all of the other third party softwares that I was using into high level paid for my account. I was going to say, I forgot to, I forgot to mention the fact that for most of us, <laughs> we, we also, we yeah. save them more than, than we, than they cost, we cost them. So, and that is normally the initial way we'd love, we, this was the journey we love for you to go on is like, wow, I bought the $97 account and I'm already in the black because I was able to cancel six other things huzzah and then from there it's like wait and then i sold my first account for 300 dollars a month or whatever it is wow i'm making i'm making money now this is incredible right so like that's the journey we want to hear people go on we do not want you to feel like i mean the fact that um michelle asked the question she said what's the investment that, that tells me that she's been in the world where she's invested yeah. i.e I, yeah. give, given way too much money to somebody and not gotten any value out of it we do not want to be an investment we want to be something that's simple it's easy it's, it's month to month it's not, there's no annual contracts. There's none of that garbage. Um, we just aren't here to rob you. We really want to see you grow and we, we want to see you succeed and we want to see you create a revenue stream um, out of us and, and you know, really do amazing things in your business. And if you're not doing that, we, we feel as much of failure as you would. So we're, we're not here to take advantage of you. Yeah, it's such a great company. It's, it's just what you've done is incredible. Thank you so much, Sean, for being here, sharing your wisdom, Absolutely. sharing 
your, you know, just everything about the software, answering questions for our community. I really appreciate it. Really appreciate you. And we'll, you know, tell everybody. I mean, yeah, yeah, we wouldn't be here without our community. I mean, and and, and so as much as you appreciate me, I appreciate you because tr truly it, it is our community and people like you who make us, uh, who have made us who we are today and who will make us who we are tomorrow. And we, we love our customers as, as much as they love us. Yeah, this is Kenneth and he has a brick and mortar location. I referred high level to him as an affiliate and he said, I'm a 30 plus year IT guy. And I also believe Kenneth, you're a veteran. Um, I learned about high level by thank accident. Thanks service, Laura. The it's way. the best thing I've seen in years. Yeah. Thank you for your service, Kenneth. Awesome. He says it's the best thing I've seen in years. It is. Well, that, that, that means a lot to us. And I really appreciate that, Kenneth. So don't worry. But the good news is we, we're far from done. I, I mean, I, I have a feature addiction and I admit it. Um, I'm, so, um, but I, I refuse to quit. So I'm going to continue. We're going to continue to come out with some amazing stuff. Um, uh, in this in this quarter and every subsequent quarter, so I'm I'm pretty excited. So just stay tuned. Um, if you and if oh and if anybody always asks this question like, well, if I didn't sign up or this or that, where how do I keep track of you guys or whatever? Just go to the YouTube channel. It's um, it, you know, all those crazy coming at you videos that uh that Laura was talking about earlier. That's where they go. So even if you aren't a a, 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 a customer, and if you are, we have a phenomenal Facebook community that you should join um as well. Awesome. Thank you again. Let's yeah. hope for a Thank good weather for both of us. And yeah. wonderful. Thank you, everyone, for joining. I'll see you soon. All right, everybody. Bye for now. Okay. Bye.